one night I was with my dad and we came home and we we're staying in a hotel actually and, and uh, he looked at me and held his Bible up and he said, son, this book is a sword, not a club. It's supposed to be a weapon against our enemy, not something to beat up our brothers with. That stuck with me. And the truth is, when the truth is by itself alone, it can become legalism very, very quickly. Because the word becomes uh, like rules. But Jesus said, we've got to worship in spirit and in truth. If we worship in truth alone, we probably are headed toward legalism. Hang with me. Now, I've been in other churches because I'm a musician, and I've, I've observed, and you go in, and man, they are happy. I mean, they're jumping up and down and running around the room, and I mean, waving towels at you. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I'll just tell you, as a musician, you're standing up here singing, and they are so engaged with you, and it's great. But there's a problem here because when... When you worship in spirit alone, it, it has a tendency to become just emotionalism. You know, it's sort of like when you take that first bite of cotton candy, it's really good, but it just disappears. There's no substance to it. Now, what was Jesus trying to teach us? Here's what he was saying. He's saying the Father is looking for a person or a group of people that are worshiping in spirit and in truth. You have to have both. I think there's a verse of Scripture that helps explain it. It's John chapter 16. Listen to this. Jesus was talking. He said, when he, he's talking about the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into truth. For he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will disclose to you what is to come. So you see, it's really not... It's not possible for you to understand the truth of God until the Spirit of God engages with you. See, it is the Spirit of God that reveals truth to you. Let me give you an example. You ever been reading your Bible, like, and, and you just read something, and you've read your Bible before, right? Okay, good. So you're, you're reading along, and, and something just kind of jumps out at you, and you go, wow, I never saw that before. You know what that was? Spirit in truth. God looks for people whose hearts are open and it allows them to process through their heart, not just through their mind. 